Hello everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Bryce, another Lewis Gamer, and this is the COD Ghost Review Recap. So, my initial thoughts were, holy crap, it looks awesome! I was so excited for this game. I've been waiting for the next gen consoles for a while, and this is why. Just look at the difference between the last gen consoles, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 graphics with like black ops 2 or modern warfare 3 and just look at this it's just so much better it looks crisp you can see details and faces so much more you can there's a lot more flowing water there's jungle elements there's all these different things that they couldn't put in the last gen because the hardware was so old so they had to wait for this gen and man it was worth the wait it looks amazing uh yeah there's so many different things it's 60 fps which means that the next gen consoles are at least 60 fps with a possibility of up to 120 which is awesome so yeah th there's a few things different about this this uh this cod ghost the dynamic maps are a lot more dynamic They've been ramping up this since, I think, Black Ops, where they had, like, the uh, things where you could slide down the wires and you could open doors and all these different things. And each game has just been adding more and more and just ramping it up until this. Uh, earthquakes happened, which made me nervous about sound and shaking screens, but it, it made me excited about dynamic maps. Uh, Battlefield has something going for it where you can shoot holes in buildings, you can destroy the map, and that's an awesome feature that Call of Duty never had, and maybe that's when this is going to happen. Maybe this is what's going to happen now. They had a slide, which was essentially a dolphin dive, but with more functionality because you slide forward instead of diving forward, which uh, made you lose control of your gun for a, a second-ish, which... Hopefully this is different. The mantling system looked awesome. You just ran up into a wall and just immediately hopped over it, which who else has been stuck on a wall where you just, okay, it took me a few seconds to get over there and I died. So yeah, that's a few of the different things with that. Uh, there's more customization with your character. You can change your head you can change your outfit you can change this that the other you can change so much which is awesome i think they should almost rpg style it where they can you can make them bigger and slower but take more damage or you can make them slower and faster and just sneak right in there kind of like what they're doing with the perks but to an extreme which i think that would be really fun and it would change up the gameplay but they didn't mention anything about that the, the single player was written by Stephen Gagan, which he's a writer. He's written a few big movies, but whatever. It, it's probably going to be just a little step up from the last ones because they always have good writers on their single players because that's initially what sold the thing until like COD 4 when realistically now it's just the multiplayer that sells it and the single player is just a nice addition. But whatever the the basis for the single player is your your group of military people from all the different branches of the military you you lost a war and essentially you're the remnants of all of the militaries together you take elements from each other that help you get better at fighting which which shows why you can kill so many people with just so few uh it, it sounds like an awesome idea it's 10 years in the future after the last Call of Duty, uh, which is really, it's not much of a jump. People were making it seem like it was going to be 200 years in the future, but it, it isn't, which, it, it's playing it safe. They mentioned that they weren't playing it safe, but realistically, they are. They couldn't call it Modern Warfare 4, which is the reason they said they re-ramped everything, but it just looks awesome. The multiplayer teaser, was, which I'll try to link to you. I'll try to link it to you just so you can see what it's like. 
it was really awesome to watch. At first, when they showed like the faces and they showed the arms, I was very skeptical. I even wrote down, although this won't be all noticeable in the games, it is good to know that it's possible and will be coming. But it actually was in the game. So much different. It just looked amazing. I, I'm almost speechless at how good it looked. Because this was probably... They said it was on the Xbox One. So the PC version, even though it's going to be new new software or hardware for the Xbox and the PlayStation 4. Let's be honest, the PC is always going to be stronger in that regard. So... It just makes me excited about what's to come in graphics for the next few years. So, that's essentially everything they said about COD Ghost. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. And until next time, have a great day.